Merry Christmas everyone! Thank you so much for an amazing year on YouTube. As a special celebration event, I decided to create a giant collaboration with you featuring all of our OCs together for the Christmas season. I received so many amazing submissions for this challenge and I can't wait to share them with you. event I challenged you to draw your OC's Christmas style so I could incorporate all of your drawings into one giant drawing to celebrate this Christmas. As well as this I also included my own OC's in the challenge. It was amazing to see everyone's different characters, hear about your stories and just see how everyone's unique art styles come together. First of all I'm going to be starting my own original character named Willow. Willow is the protagonist for my manga in progress Having Faith. I don't want to say too much about my characters yet to avoid spoilers for the story, but I will just give you a little summary about who Willow is and her character in the story. Willow is a kind girl who lives very deeply in her imagination. Growing up in an orphanage without any knowledge of her family, the only companion she had was her imaginary friend named Faith. She was eventually adopted by a good family, but still experienced exclusion outside of that, especially in school where her strange behaviours made her stand out. She comes to meet a boy named Jack after he protects her from bullies. After that, they become very close friends, all the way through to high school. During this time, Willow comes to forget Faith, but Faith does not like to be ignored. Faith is determined to return, but this time, she doesn't want to be imaginary anymore. For Willow's outfit, I decided to go with a more old-fashioned style. I thought that this style would suit her personality well, and I especially enjoyed drawing the little cloak around Willow's shoulders. Next is Celia Aphrodite by Mite Hero on Instagram. Celia Aphrodite is a character from the creator's story, Hero Mite. Celia is a 17-year-old girl who is interested in fashion design. She's a member of a group of entities known as the Celestial Bodies, beings who embody abstract concepts that are reincarnated every generation. Celia is the Celestial Body of Beauty. People who look at her will see their own perception of the most beautiful woman, but those who have absolutely no romantic interest in her soulmate will see her true face, which is what the readers see. Her parents disappeared when she was little, leaving her in the care of her grandparents. Her grandfather died some years later, leaving her grandmother as the only family she has. She has many friends, her best friend being Mite, who acts as her confidant and her personal model, much to his dismay. Next is Polly and Balvia by Rosette1132 on Instagram. They are from her Pollyanna and Papa Shadow story. Balvia, before he was cursed, was a merchant who had a crush on Polly and admired her from afar. Over the course of the story, they become closer together. We also have this lovely artwork by Rosette of Barry and Kyla. Kyla is an apprentice genie who escaped her role because she wanted to have a normal and free life and managed to find Barry. Thank you for sharing your lovely characters with me, I really enjoyed seeing them. Next I want to share my OC Jack with you. He is the second main character in my manga in progress, Having Faith. Jack is the kind of person who thinks more of others than himself. He constantly got in trouble at school for putting himself in difficult situations just to protect someone else. But he doesn't just do these things just so he can be thought of as a hero. He does it because he wants to change the life of someone else. He also enjoys writing music and playing the guitar, but he is a bit self-conscious of his music and only plays it for Willow. Willow tries to convince him that his music is amazing, but Jack still is uncomfortable with sharing it with others. Jack doesn't know much about Willow's past, but he knows she has experienced a lot of difficulties. No matter what, he intends to stay by her side and support her through all aspects of her life. Jack's outfit was the hardest of the three outfits to design, since I simply don't see a lot of male characters dressed Christmas style. It was hard for me to know exactly what outfit to put Jack in, so I ended up choosing an elf style costume with red colours to suit Christmas. What do you think of the design? Next we have Bolt O'Donnell by Bloodwolf SSBU on Instagram. He is a character from their manga in progress, The Slayer Academia. Bolt is the son of Jeffrey O'Donnell and Alexis Thundarling, who owned a trafficking black market business. At the age of three before his parents were arrested for their horrible crimes, his father went insane and burned the entire right side of Bolt's face. After that incident, Bolt was fortunate to be taken into Silver Pyrose's custody, where he and Inferno became as close as brothers. Bolt is an incredible whip user and has a pet cat named Bolt. He struggles under pressure and has PTSD-induced anxiety, but once you get to know him, he is a great person to be around. We also have Inferno Pyros by Bloodwolf SSBU. Inferno Nathaniel Pyros is the last white aura warrior and successor to his father Silver Pyros. He lived a somewhat normal life until the age of 15 when his mother was killed in a pirate raid while defending his hometown. Since then he worked and trained until he and his friends enrolled at Emblaze University. 
Being a white aura warrior, he can use birthrights of other past warriors. He can also use their weapons, techniques, and ask them for advice on anything he would like. Funnily enough, with all of his skills, he is petrified of wasps and hornets. He is the tallest of the group at a height of 6'9", and he is also very good at cooking. And here is Angela von Crescent, Blood Wolf SSBU's third character. Angela had a very difficult childhood. Her mother died while giving birth to her, and her father soon after from the heartbreak, causing her to be raised by her abusive uncle. Being constantly neglected and starved, her life was extremely hard. One day at the age of seven, she packed her bags and managed to run away without ever looking back. Her scythe, Coldest Night, is a gift from Inferno, whom she is very attached to. Much like Bolt, Angela struggles a lot with PTSD and tends to be very shy. She is also the shortest of the group at 5'7". The cloak she wears was originally her mother's. Here is my final OC for this challenge and my favourite character from my manga Having Faith. She is the title character Faith, who is also the main villain in my story. Out of everyone in the entire world, Willow is the person Faith cares about the most. Faith always promised herself to protect Willow, no matter what she had to do to achieve it. At times, her methods of protecting Willow seemed very manipulative, but Faith always wanted to keep Willow safe. However, over the years, Faith's motives shifted. When Willow came to meet Jack, Faith realised that her happy world with Willow was crumbling and she couldn't stand it. Beneath Faith's outward stubborn and sometimes cruel image, she tends to be a very anxious person. Her biggest fear above all else is being alone. She hates seeing the world go by while she is left alone in the shadows. She is terrified of not existing. Faith's outfit was my favourite outfit out of all of the characters I drew. I really tried different styles with this one until I came up with the outfit. I wanted to keep her outfit long sleeved so it could be similar to her usual outfit. This is certainly more festive than her regular plain clothes. I also gave her a much more embarrassed expression because I can imagine that she would feel pretty awkward to be seen in such bright clothing. Next is Lazy Lolly's Persona. They are on YouTube and Instagram at xlazyxlollyx. Their persona is a white fox who is addicted to tea, something that I can relate to quite a lot. Their second character is named Luna. She is a Gemini and loves anything to do with avoiding getting bored. I really love the designs of both these characters and I think they both look very adorable. I especially really like your art style in drawing them. Thank you very much for your submission. Next we have Zia, Kai and Mark by Wolf Lover. They are also known as Mammon's Wannabe Goldie on TikTok. Zia is Kai's sister. She is known for her cheery and helpful actions around her neighbourhood. Ever since Zia was little, she never got recognition from her mother, causing her to feel left out at many times. Zia dreams of inheriting her father's company one day in the hopes that she may make money so she can buy things to help others. She considered herself to be very lucky to live a rich and comfortable life and once thought about running her own shelter so that people can stay in a safe place for as long as they want. Kai never really thought about inheriting his father's company since he prefers to remain carefree. He has always been that kind of person even when he was young. He always noticed how Zia struggled to get their mother's attention when he did not have to do nearly as much. Mark is the kind of person who would stand up for anyone. He loves ferrets and has a pet ferret himself. Mark also has a small crush on Zia. While he wants to stand up for anyone who may need it in the moment, under the surface he also believes that humanity is not so kind as they may seem. There are two sides to himself, the part of him in the day that cares about the others around him and the part of him at night who can potentially look towards those same people with disdain. Next is Rex and Pakune by Minecreeper Films, also known as Rex Flames on Instagram. Rex is the main character of the story. He is born into a world where those with powers are hunted. Unfortunately, Rex is one of those born with powers, but the difficult part about it is that he doesn't know exactly what his powers are. Rex lives a hard life with his grandfather, who is said to die soon, and works as a waiter to earn money. Pakune lives an average life with her middle class family. She is the only one in her household to have powers, as she was adopted. Despite her easy life, she still likes to work as a paper girl. She puts a lot of effort into her studies and loves gardening. Also here at the Christmas party is Hanako Abe by A Part About Anime Art on Instagram. Hanako Abe is a high school student and a multi-talented person. She's also very fun and outgoing, similar to Chika's personality in Kaguya-sama Love is War. She tends to be kind and caring towards everyone and has fun drawing doujinshi in the manga club at her school. 
She has a never-ending closet and she loves wearing new clothes and accessories. Next is Hana by Sarnox on Instagram. They are also on YouTube and I put a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. Hana's full name is Hana Gaido Mudke. She is 17 years old. Hana is the main protagonist in Sarnox's one-shot manga, Messer Schmidt Marvel. She is quiet most of the time, but not shy. However, she can be witty at times, as well as kind and understanding in other times. Hana has an airy magic amulet that allows her to transform into her magical girl uniform, as well as grant her special aero magic staff that can help her to control her magic. Her abilities are based off the World War II German-built Messerschmitt Me 262 jet fighter. Besides her staff, Hana's mechanical hand is also a useful tool for controlling her magic. However, her hand will wear out over time due to the stress of handling lots of those abilities. Next up is Miku Hatsu in Christmas style, drawn by Patrick from Sweden. I was very happy to see Miku because I've always been such a big Vocaloid fan. I would say Vocaloid is one of the major inspirations for my artwork, especially in my older drawings, and when I was first learning to draw, I drew a lot of the Vocaloid characters. Miku Hatsune is a character developed for a line of singing voice synthesizer products by Krypton Future Media Inc. This software, which can recreate a singing voice, carefully recorded and processed for each character, makes it possible to generate an entire song's vocal parts by simply entering a melody and lyrics on your computer. The trademarks of Hatsune Mika are her two blue-green ponytails and her futuristic outfit resembling a school uniform. Hatsune Miku voice synthesizer software was developed based on the voice of Japanese voice actress Saki Fujita and first released on August 31, 2007. Since her release, Hatsune Miku has evolved into a phenomenon of highly participatory cyber culture with Miku-related content created and shared every day around the globe. Thank you so much for your submission, I really like this drawing. Now we have Sabise and Margot by Lila's 1739 on DeviantArt. Margot Kalia is a survivor of smallpox and due to this has several scars and pock marks across her body. She also suffers from ocular albinism. In this illustration she is sharing a moment with Sabise on Christmas. Thank you so much for your submission and I really like the pose in the story. Next is Kamba, Branka and Noria by Michia Gillison. You can find him on YouTube, DeviantArt and Facebook. I have links to that in the description below. These characters are from his manga, My Neighbor is a Parasaurolophus, and they are singing Christmas carols together. The first character is Camper, who is a protagonist in this series. At first sight, Camper looks like a normal girl with some weird anatomical features, including the bony crest on the back of her head and a long dinosaur tail. But in reality, she is a Parasaurolophus, a, a large duck-billed dinosaur from Lake Cretaceous, North America, in human form. In her human form, Camper is a friendly and cheerful girl who is curious about new things. To earn a living, she works at a local maid cafe. The second character is Branka. She is a very tall young lady who is in reality a druf... I apologize if I say this wrong... A druf... Giraffe Titan Brankai in human form. Her dinosaur features in human form include a tail and a high nasal budge seen in Brachiosaurids. She is over 7 feet tall and speaks with an East African accent. She also has a sweet and gentle personality. Branka runs a Mesozoic themed maid cafe in the city where Camper lives and also is Camper's employer. The final character on the right is Noria. Noria is a small primid theropod known as Saltipus L. Genesis. She originates from the late Triassic period which is now Scotland. Her dinosaur features in human form include a feathered tail and needle-like teeth. Noria is a tomboyish girl with a thick Scottish accent. She tends to have quite a rude attitude and is easily angered. She is also insecure about her small size, which usually triggers her anger to begin with. While not a villain in the story, Noria isn't too friendly towards Camper and thinks it's weird for dinosaurs to be friends with mammals. As the artist described in the picture, these three are going around singing Christmas carols dressed in Christmas outfits for Christmas. While Camper and Branka are having a great time, due to her tomboyish attitude, Noria is extremely annoyed to have to wear such girly clothes and sing songs like that. 
If you want to learn more about these characters, make sure to check out My Neighbor is a Parasaurolophus on Webtoons. Next we have Danica Knight by BloodWolfSSBU on Instagram. She is also a character from their story, The Slayer Academia. Danica Knight was born into the Royal Knights family with two younger siblings, Daniel and Danielle. Her dad was almost never around and her mother made things difficult to handle with her abuse and addictions. Eventually, Danica, like Angela, also decided to run away from home and never look back, finding a place with the rest of the hero group. Danica is an amazingly skilled singer and fighter. Her spear and shield are also gifts from a lone widow. She is great with kids and tries to remain positive no matter what comes her way. Next up is Alexander by Alexander Manga on Instagram. Alexander's story is set in Sido Victorian era and it focuses on him getting revenge through the usage of evil acts to get his enemy to notice. In this illustration, he is helping to bring in the Christmas cheer. Learn more about Alexander in the original manga on Taptastic titled Alexander. I have a link to that in the description below. Next we have this lovely drawing of Rosette's characters Peter D and Citrus McGill coming home for Christmas. There's also this other drawing which features her characters Papa Shadow and her very first original character, Roy the Foxy Girl. As well as this, we also have this Happy Holidays drawing featuring Rifa, Moonsoon and Elio. Make sure to check out more of Rosette's artwork on her Instagram. I have the link to her Instagram in the description below. Now here is this lovely Christmas design, Ginger Cupcake by Skylar9540 on Instagram. This is a character inspired by Reindeer and Sweets. I think it is a very cute drawing and it really matches the vibe of Christmas very, very well. I think it's a great image to get into the Christmas spirit. Next is Mibe Miura by Eri Choose on Instagram. Mibe Miura is the protagonist of Eri Choose manga in progress, Inferno, a dark fantasy, romance and mystery story. Mibe is a 15 year old girl who longs for nothing but freedom. Her mother is the CEO of one of the world's leading jewelry companies, while her father is a well-known doctor. Despite both of them being humans, Mibe turns out to be born with demonic features. Both her parents push her away due to this, hating her for the features that she cannot help. The young girl's identity was kept hidden from the media, yet her desire for freedom never vanished. On one fateful day, her dearly missed aunt from overseas came to visit and changed her life forever. Mibe experiences her first day at public school and eventually meets Rai, a cold boy who shares a similar destiny to her. As demons in the story have certain powers, Mibe's special power is to control ice and snow. That is why she wears special gloves to protect her hands from freezing when using her power. She has a lot of trauma after her difficult experiences growing up and the abuse from her family, but nevertheless, she is a sweet, polite and curious young girl. She loves butterflies, flowers, reading, sewing, sweetbread and listening to ballads from the early 1900s to 70s. In this illustration, Mibe is spending Christmas with her friends, which is why she is so happy in the drawing. Thank you very much for sharing your artwork with me. Mibe is such a cute character and I loved hearing about her story. Next is Kira Webster by Ellis Drawings on Instagram. Kira is the main character of Ellis Drawings' story. She is 224 years old and a protector. She is to protect Venice, the historical city that surges on the water from an evil wizard. She is loyal, shy and a playful person. Whenever she has to fight, however, she will become your worst nightmare. She is really smart and even if Venice is full of water, she knows how to use her fire abilities through that weakness. 
She gained her powers from Merlin, the old wizard who gave her a red gem that represents her fire power. As well as her, there are other protectors all over the world. Next we have Lueki and Twitch by Joey Diver. From the indie graphic novel series Down Home Little Planet, created by artist Joey Diver and editor Jay Barnhart. All three volumes are available to purchase on Amazon. The story focuses on backwater planet Aces Gemma, which is a barely glowing dot on the galactic map these days. The planet only has a few years left before it becomes uninhabitable, and the bulk of its population dies horribly. This dire situation has caused everyone who was anyone to flee, leaving the lower class stranded to fend for themselves. With the government now broken down, society has come untethered. In the middle of all of this, a cyborg street peddler known to his friends and family as Twitch. Over the course of the story, he finds himself somehow engaged to a troublesome alien princess named Luiki and must uphold a promise he never made. Make sure to check out Down Home Little Planet on their social media. i put links to their social media in the description below. Next is Solius by Mary Goglia from her webcomic Let's Go Now. It is available to read on her website and I have linked to that listed below. Let's Go Now is a sci-fi and fantasy comic. Unknown and unexpected heroes are chosen to combat an ancient evil while unearthing the seeds of a forgotten past, finding themselves caught in a war as old as time and space itself. Thank you very much for your submission. Make sure to check out Mary Goglia on Instagram to support this project. We have Setsuna Mae Questel by Arts of the Kais on Instagram. Setsuna is a character in their webtoon titled Devils in the Snow. The link to that webcomic is available in the description below. Setsuna is a 14 year old girl on a journey for revenge. Her family was one of the many who were killed by a new power who tried to show his worthiness to the people. She runs away from her hometown Ellis and tries to survive and get stronger on her own. However, she soon finds that her journey could get easier when she comes across an old legendary hero. She's a picky person and likes things full of colour. Her favourite foods happen to be specifically blue cheese on mostly everything. After her experience with her family, she's become a tougher person and always wants things done her way perfectly. Setsuna hates bugs and she's confident until she gets frustrated. She sometimes doubts herself and uses the phrase, I don't even know anymore. Next we have Brie and Jane by Amber Loves Bugs. They are on various social media sites which I put the link to in the description below. Brie is on the left and Jane is on the right and they are a part of Amber's original alternative universe series that she is currently creating. Brie is a changer, a being that is able to turn into an animal based on the gemstone on their back. These two characters are close friends and they are enjoying the winter season together with hot cocoa. Now we have three more traditional drawings by Rosette 1132. The first one features her characters Natasha and Kyla. The second one is Donna Don, Sao, and Winter Lee. And the third one is Priestess Sayoris and her servant Agleto. Make sure to check out her Instagram for more artwork of these characters. is also here at this Christmas event. This character is by Kendrick G or Kendrick the Creative on Instagram. Aurora is a writer who writes to express herself more than any other form of expression. Talking included. You can always catch her with a notebook or a pack of sticky notes all around her. She loves anything that curls and twists, which is why she always leaves her hair natural and never straightens it. She prefers colder weather because she can get to wear fluffy jackets and write while the snow falls outside. The next characters here at this Christmas event are Zero and Hana by Kyla5322 on Instagram. These two characters are from Kyla's manga in progress. On the left is Zero and on the right is Hana. Hana is a human girl who meets a young demon boy named Zero after venturing outside the walls of her city. On their journey together they fight many demons and monsters, gathering friends along the way as well as developing their powers. They also develop a love connection during their time together. Thank you so much for your submission Kyla, these characters are so interesting and I love their design. This is Homer by Huzai Fire Ama. You might remember this character from the light novel I read in my manga review video titled The Host of Legends. If you haven't read it yet, you're welcome to check it out in the link in the description below. Homer has the power to host the souls of legends of the past in his body in exchange for his memories, and he sets out to beat the demon lord who rules the demon infested world. The story is set in the year 2058 AD, where demons run amok. Due to the demon infested earth, humans now live in air colonies. 
He focuses on Hulma as he goes on his task to defeat the Demon King and learn the truth about his past. Next we have Fosk and Desart by Sama Neko on Instagram. They are also on YouTube with the same username. In this illustration, Fosk is found on the right and Desart is on the left. Desart is Fosk's adopted son. Having found Desart as a toddler after a desert quake, the pair tend to prefer the cold seasons and avoid the heat, sand and shared trauma of the desert. They tend to keep to themselves but interact with others in the pursuit of knowledge and finding a place and people to finally call home. The two have a very strong father and son relationship, but eventually as desert grows, the bond will be tested. Next we have Hugo by Sarnox. This is another character from the manga Messerschmitt Marvel, which they are in the progress of creating. Hugo is a minor antagonist in the manga. He was a member of the student council before he was accused of conspiracy against the council. Consequently, the student council supreme leader ordered Hugo's execution. Like Hana, Hugo is an aero magic user, and even in his current state, he is still able to use his aero magic. His magical transformation, known as Spirited Stuka, gives him magical abilities based off the flight characteristics of the German built Junkers Ju 87 Stuka dive bomber. He is also able to disorient his opponents using the two Stuka sirens that come with the transformation. He can also attack his opponents using aero magic bombs and his handheld BK 3.7 cannon. Though his weapons pack a punch, he is not very fast or agile. Next characters we have at this Christmas event are Ken Yamanato, Evan, Kim, Jin, and Mikey by Juna Garabagai on Instagram and Facebook. They also have a Facebook art page at Junior G Arts. The character in the middle is Ken Yamanato, the main character of the creator's upcoming manga series White Dragon Academy. He likes acting tough and he is kind of a bad boy, but inside he is actually a big softy. The one sitting on the present is Evan. He is cool and collected, but somehow he is fascinated by Ken, and that's why he is best friends with him. The girl is Kim. She is kind and likes minding her own business. She loves gifts and giving to others. The one with the glasses is Jin. He is reserved and shy and likes to concern around others. The one with the yellow present is Mikey. He is a jokester and always smells brightly no matter the situation. Next up is Mr. Fenix by It Was Me, Nico Nico on Instagram. This is the protagonist of their manga in progress titled Starbound. This character's name is Mr. Fenix and he is 19 years old. He's very goofy and optimistic, but he can also be stubborn at times. If there's one thing he's serious about, that's making maps. One day he decides to leave his work as a cartographer on a tiny island behind and go to explore and make maps of other places. He hopes to one day make a map of the entire world. In Starbound, there are people with abilities based off phrases, sayings, and idioms that the creator calls mojo. Mr. Fennec, for example, has the mojo like the wind, which gives him the ability to move fast and in some instances, control the wind.
Prince's Christmas party, we have Dorian by Vrivri Sun on Instagram. Dorian is from a constructed species known as Atisunes. He is the main cartoon called Beast Sleeper. He is trapped in the human world and in the meantime trying to blend in with culture and stay with the humans while learning new things. He's quite smart but sometimes he overestimates his power. He also loves seashells and plants. Thank you so much for your submission, I really love Dorian's design. Next we have Lovelina by Lovelina Draw on Instagram. Lovelina doesn't have a proper description yet as she is still in development, so instead I will talk a little bit about what I really liked about this design. I really like her expression and the pose you chose. I think that looks very nice and I also really enjoyed how her white hair blended in with the white aspects of her costume which creates a really nice effect. Thank you so much for your submission, she looks like a lovely character and I hope to learn more about her in the future. Next is Austus and Mercy by Starboy Comic on Twitter. These are two characters from the creator's upcoming webcomic, Cosmotrot. Austus looks like an average guy that you wouldn't even notice on the street, however under the surface he is an alien who happens to deliver valuable packages all over the universe for the right price. Mercy is an assertive and independent journalist who can't seem to get that break she desperately wants. Perhaps this is in part due to the fact that her blog rants about the existence of a secretive group that has allegedly been responsible for the abduction of several dozen people in the city. These two characters who seem worlds apart collide in a universe spanning adventure. The creator titled this illustration, oh come on, Santa would never know the difference. The scenario is that Rudolph the Reindeer has gone missing as the result of some sci-fi shenanigans and these characters now need to find a replacement for Christmas. In this case, an alien reindeer to take Rudolph's place. This reindeer was rabid, but even so, Austus wishes to present this reindeer to Santa anyway, with the misguided belief that Santa won't be able to tell the difference. The next character of this Christmas event is Kaiden by Kerry, also known as Minako Num Nums on Instagram, Twitter, and Debinar. This character is from Kerry's one-shot webcomic, False Start. You can read it through the link in the description below. Kaiden is a 16-year-old boy who believes in superstitions. Some scare him and some don't. In the one shot, he has a crush on a girl and instead of trying to win her over in a more natural way, he decides to visit a rumored witch to see if she could get the girl to fall for Kaiden. Next we have Violetta by Seb, also known as this German guy on Instagram. This character is a massive chunibyo, which is a term in the Japanese language used to describe a person who manifests delusional behavior. They might particularly think that one has special powers that no other person has. Their full name is Violetta Radioactive. She's a rich girl and tends to slack off way too much. Now we have Ara by Chester from the Philippines. Their username is Kamatisa Tazin on Instagram. Ara's name was inspired by Adara's name from the K-pop group Tune One. Her short hair was also inspired by Hailey from Paramore. Ara is a 14-year-old girl from a manga story that they are currently developing. She's a noisy girl with a bit of an attitude. She's the kind of person who doesn't show her romantic feelings but is totally opposite with all other things. She does and says whatever she wants. She can be annoying but a lovely friend at the same time. This girl likes to compete and fight whatever or whoever her enemies are, even if they're stronger than her. When it comes to those closest to her, she'll do anything to protect them. Next is Chisaki Uta and Ashida Nara by N Ashida on Instagram. Chisaki on the left can fight and likes to listen to music. Although she puts on a serious poker face, Chisaki is very kind to others but has to deal with Ashida's troublesome schemes on a daily basis. Her desire is to one day become a musical artist. Ashida on the right is very lucky, believing his luck can come in both good or bad ways. 
He has a tendency to bite or annoy Chisaki once in a while, and he always displays a happy yet crazy persona. His desire is to one day also become a mangaka. Next to the Christmas party is Murphy, Elasto, and Friend by Cora Musica on Instagram and Facebook. Murphy, 22 years old, is a self-taught detective who travels across the country to solve strange disappearances of people with similar autistic troubles to hers. Her sensibility is impressive because she can detect sounds that no one hears, and she can perceive details that nobody sees. But Murphy is also very sensitive to words, which means that she's deeply affected by the way others speak to her. That's why she developed trust issues over time, and communication is a serious problem she faces every time she speaks to others. Thankfully, she learns to open up a little, and she now has several friends who understand how she lives and support her. Murphy even became the leader of a large group of people who want to solve the mystery of the strange disappearances. Alas To, 21 years old, is a traveling doctor who always wants to help others to the point where he almost forgets to take care of himself. Extremely nice and altruistic, it's natural for him to speak openly with others, even if he just met the person two minutes ago. Very social and trustful, this young man is a perfect confidant who always has time to comfort a friend and make them feel better. Alasto never forgets a birthday and has a natural sense for choosing the perfect gift for anyone he knows. Thanks to his friendly personality, he naturally became the first person to gain Murphy's trust. He always knows how to make others more comfortable to speak of him, which helps Murphy a lot with witnesses. On one day, he helped her to socialize more, and on the other hand, Murphy often reminds him to take more care of himself. Friend, 18 years old, is a young mechanic born with the strange ability to know when someone is lying. He can't explain why, but he is able to detect a lie as if he had the perfect pitch for it. That may be seen as very useful, but in his everyday life, this ability is a real handicap because he can't truly trust anyone who's lying to him, even when it's just a little lie that wouldn't hurt anyone. So Friend just decided to leave alone. He met Murphy and Elasto by accident and instantly liked their honesty. He helps Elasto to know when a witness is lying to them and his mechanical talents are very useful in many ways. The only problem for Murphy and Elasto is to put up with Friend's strength of character because he's stubborn, way too honest, sarcastic and sometimes aggressive for no reason. But his sincerity is always his greatest quality because he's always honest when something bothers him but also when he says something nice. For many reasons he dislikes his own face and that's why he keeps hiding it behind a mask. No one saw him without it for now, but after a while he may be able to show himself if he trusts his friends enough. But it'll be a very slow process. Next is Ray Chan by Artistic Reader on Instagram. Ray is 13 years old, a soccer player and a guitarist. She is the main character from a comic that this creator is working on with a friend. Thank you so much for your submission, I really love her design and she seems like such a cute character as well. I hope I can learn more about this character in the future. Next we have Rosario by ZZion19 on Instagram. Rosario, nicknamed Memory, is from the creator's comic Heroes of the Dark, available on Webtoons and Taptastic. I've got a link to that so you can read it yourself in the description below. Memory is a socially awkward kind of girl, very geeky and tends to be super forgetful and clumsy. She is constantly tired of everything and feels depressed at times. The world she lives in is a lot like a dream where everything is messy and strange things happen at random times. Next we have Una Lim by Mortal Manka on Instagram. In his story, this character conquered Japan and keeps a harem of women he turned immortal after making them all widows. His neck tattoo usually reads with the kanji darkness but right now it reads Merry Christmas. Unalim is generally speaking evil as a character. Thank you so much for your submission, this is a really interesting character. By the way, if you haven't already seen it, I recommend you check out their manga Chores, which has a really entertaining story and a great art style. I will put the link to that in the description below. Next we have Malachi by Anime Artist 1365 on Instagram. Malachi is a hybrid of a cow and a human, and somewhat of a bull. He's a pretty big guy that has somewhat a rough exterior on the outside, but is a total teddy bear on the inside. He lives out in the very far countryside in an old farmhouse that his mother had given him when he got older. He would usually spend his days tending to the old farmhouse every day due to it connecting him to his mother that lives in the city miles away. However, from time to time he would travel for almost a mile or two to the city to deliver milk due to being a milkman on bike since he has a big fear of cars. The whereabouts of his father are unknown, but he always keeps and cherishes the cowbell that he remembered getting from his mother that is said to be his father's. Now the event is Sarah, Dawn and Heather by Ashes2899 on Instagram. 
These characters are sisters and all superheroes. They miraculously gain powers from Haley's Comet and they go on adventures together. In this illustration, they are sharing a fun moment together for Christmas. The final OC for this event is Renzo, Jilta and Askeladdon by Joyski. You can find that Joyski draws on Instagram. The characters in this picture are Renzo at the back, Jilta, the girl to the right and Askeladdon at the front left. Having been abandoned by his parents, Renzo was left with an unsettling feeling that everyone he cares for will eventually leave him. Unable to accept the death of his adoptive father, he makes an oath to find the Millennium Eye, said to give its possessor control over life and death and resurrect him. On his travels, he meets Jilta and Askeladdon, who join him for their own reasons. Soon they turn out to be friends Renzo never thought he could have. Scared that they might leave him and also humbled by their kindness, the hot-headed Renzo doesn't know how to handle the relationship with them and often ends up causing an unnecessarily heated situation. Jilta comes from an esteemed line on holders. She has great expectations directed at her that can often feel overwhelming because there is one major problem, she can't do magic. Unable to face the ridicule from her peers and her own embarrassment, she sets out to cheat on the certification exam with the help of Renzo. Will she succeed in proving everyone what a mighty holder she is, or will she end up as failure? Askeladdon, having escaped the Great Revolution and the, pro the prosecution of the royal line, is distraught and unsure of what to do next. What are his responsibilities now, and is he still royal? And now that he is older, dependable cousin, the former king-in-waiting is dead. Can he fill those shoes as he is now the next in line? A coward who never expects anything but failure from himself, he sees a shining hope in Renzo's dependable strength and strong will. I'm so excited for the new year and I can't wait to share new videos and new content with you as well as share previews of my manga in progress having faith as I continue to work towards completing it. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas filled with so much love, happiness and joy. I also hope you have an amazing happy new year. Thank you so much for sharing your characters and their tales with me. I was so happy to be able to read their stories and hear about your stories as well in the process of creating these characters. Have a very happy Christmas and a wonderful new year. May you feel creative, motivated and filled with inspiration. I'll see you then. Bye.